episode number three, my friends, welcome to Soccer Manager 2019. Now, as you saw in the last season, we opened up our season with a huge, 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 huge four wins last week, um, or a week ago when this went live. As you saw here, we drawed on the thing, but we've now got a team that are winning. You know, that's what this green means. Blues draw, reds loss. We've won our first four games in the season, putting us on top of the table, as you saw in the homepage. But I haven't really been on this page, apart from to do the training, because I put it there to do training. Um, as you saw, we've got seven days. There's something we forgot to do. Now, these refresh. So you get two of them, depending on when I do the episodes. There's another ten coins. Hooray, thank you. Um, that's very nice. Can I have another one? Open. Plus 5k. Nice. I like that one. That gives us extra so it gives us an extra bit of money. So these guys we won't need just yet. If we have one of these guys, we will freaking fly. You see, I would. He's 51, he's part of Oxford, and he's gonna cost 18. Um He would have cost 26. He's a decent, he's a defender. I am gonna go for that, you know. And the reason I'm going for that is that is a brilliant offer, and we're going to confirm it now, because we want... So, let's go to our club, our squad. Now, he should be here. There he is. So, we're going to move him to the first team. Um, okay, we can't, because we've got loaded players. Now, I'm going to pick someone on the first team, who we're not using at all. Let's have a look at our tactics. Someone who's in the reserves, he's not that good. Um, I'm going to get rid of Donald, Donald, Donaldson, just because I'm not going to find anything for him. So we're going to release him. There we go, he's gone. So that. So Donaldson has been released from Hartlepool United. We do not need him. I know that's kind of bad, but we're going to move. We're going to move into the reserve team, but we're going to move him to first team. And we're on our tactics screen. Here he is. Where is he? There he is. So he's a 51. He's one of our. He's going to be one of our better ones. So I'm going to put him here, so he can be a stopper. So we've got two stoppers now. That means we've got one of. That is our best player. Well, he's not nobles, but he's quite good, and he has quite a decent amount of coins. You know, you get. You don't always get the best ones, but when you see one and you, you know, you, and it's someone I wanted to have anyway. I know he's a bit old at 32, but he was someone I wanted. Any, uh, someone I wanted um, from the top. So, so I feel I. This game does have music, um, other than the sound effects in matches, but I do have it turned off for reasons that I don't want YouTube to go copyrighted. <laughs> you know what they're like. Uh, my next fixture is on the 8th. We've got five days till we can do that. Um, which I think is actually when the next game is, which is very odd that we've got it lined up to when we have a game to when we do the training. So it does stop every day so you can see if there's any messages and stuff. If there's no messages or anything, I'm not interested. Thank you. Can we just go on with the game? Oh, there was a message. I didn't look at it though. Um, Lee Hawks, Lewis Hawk, Hawking is injured in training. Ooh. Um, now, I do believe he's not a part of the main team, so that's fine. We can begin training today. We're going to just do set pieces again today. And we'll... Oh, that's it. There we go. One thingy. And there's some of the games today. Premier League. Looking very odd, as you know. Yeah, Lou Hawkins is not... Oh, so we're just going to put Ferguson up there just to replace me on the bench. So we are at home today against um, Maidenstone United. Let's see what we can do. Especially now with Jay Mashahuno on the team as well. A new player from Oxford United. It'll be quite interesting to see what happens. I will be in a some form of food by recording this episode. Because it is about one's time here. And I am recording this straight after episode number two. So Manning's on the ball. So a really brilliant goal there. Now... I'm going to leave that, but I don't know why I'm going to go for Joe Thorn.
never get. I'm not going to change the captain, but I'm going to change those two because I think if we had one of the actual. Free kick has been given. Wilson, Mr. Wilson with long hair. We're going to do four. Every episode we'll do four games. Um, this could be our first loss, but I don't think it will be. Main's head doing quite well, but we are doing quite well as well. We've got a great new defender. <laughs> not as good as some of the players, you know, it's, they're not in the 60s, like um, the Premier League, some of the Premier. I think they're the Championship players of the 61s, or 71s, or the League 1. The referee awards us a free kick. This could be our first goal here, as James is going to take it. Um, from a good distance here as well. And it is in, there we go. That is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful free kick by James. As you can see, we're now a goal up. It was never when we would get the goal against um, Mainshead United. I keep thinking we'll do it. You know, but Hartley Pool are doing really well this season. I might record episode 4, I don't know what I'm going to be recording today, but we're having good fun, that's all the fun we need to have in it, we need to enjoy ourselves with this and have a good, and have a good time. Oh, Lozar's got it, Kitchings there, it's chipped around the post by the goalkeeper, Lochi saved. What I like about this game as well, and my football manager is... They haven't got the fake logos. You haven't got to install the mods to get the real life logos. They're all there for you. You know, maybe the kits are not proper, but the logos are, and that's. And I don't really care about kits to be honest, because they're not the real. You know, they're not real people, but I do care about logos. While we sat here, shall we? I'm going to look at what our nickname. Oh, that would have been a good goal. So, in real life, they're not doing too bad this season by the looks of it. They've got a few wins. He's a professional safe club of Hong Kong and the club is currently competing as a 50 year in following regulation in the league in the So it's Victoria Park, it was 111 years old. They have 7,850, the owner is Rai Jai Singh, National League. Um, Nicknames to the Pools or Monkey Hangers. So basically, guys, we're watching the Monkey Hangers play. I'm going to make sure my phone is on site, actually. So we're watching the Monkey Hangers play, and the Monkey Hangers are winning. <laughs> just going to put that out there, but I've just learned that one. I was going to go with the Pools, to be honest, I don't really want to. <laughs> But yeah, 29 minutes in and we've already a goal up. We're not doing as good as we've done in the other games. I suppose we've got a new player on pitch. And it seems like uh, Maiden's head has learnt our tactics. So I think that's a interesting thing because Maiden's head's quite high up the league, so just to get just to fight through and get a win will be nice. But they should be terrified of playing here because it's at home at Victoria Park. They should be nervous and they shouldn't be playing as well as either. But we'll see as this game continues how it will play out. Seems to be doing quite well here today, actually. That really, to me, should have been a corner because it came off the actual goalkeeper more than my player, but we'll say no more about it. Oh, James gets in the way at that pass. It comes off the goalkeeper, but it went over the line beforehand. 
the second guard has got that, but we're going up. It's half time 1 0 at the moment. Not that I want to do really. We're going to put Williams, bring Williams off. See how he plays. <laughs> Maybe we should stop eating while I'm recording. Oh well. Bonehead's got a free kick here at the 46th minute. Rumble's gone forward. Lazar's got the ball, Woods, Lazar. These time was running out there, but he's not doing very well. Manning going in with the corner. Brilliant stuff happening here actually right now. Some nice stuff going on. Um, some great football happening. We're bringing the player on and off. Um, can I take my tactics one, please? Um, I want to try something. We'll give him the captain one. And then bring him off. No, I'm not bringing him off, we're going to bring Bates on. And I'm going to bring Jay Cassidy on. Featherstone's on pitch. So off they go. And then comes Featherstone and Bates. So what we're going to do, we'll try and keep our lead for the last 20 minutes or so, we've, brought, we've done all our um, and we'll be back there on that line there, we see things showing guard on the ball. I think they're going to hold us off to a one goal. Main, I'll give Mainhead some credit. They have played really well this game, to be honest, guys. I'm, I don't know what's going on right now, but our players are not doing very well. I, mean, I don't know if it's sudden, Gad. Well, they are really doing really well, actually, Mainhead, this game. Seems like they've been watching the other games and realised what an issue we've had. Um, but we're still going to get that one goal win, and we might be able to get another one. We might, we'll be having a look at these tactic, tactical stuff in a bit, but we're going to be setting stuff up so we can do, so we can pretend they're trained with the new captain and stuff in charge after this game. And you can make sure we do that after this one, because I meant to do that in episode two, and we forgot. But it didn't seem to be a problem. So it's another call. Um, 
Williams is going to take it from this position. Quite a good chance we could get this in. Nope, just past the net. That's fine. We might have a win here, guys. I don't know what's going to happen. We've still got eight minutes or so to go on the clock. Brilliant save there by Loach, and that is why we have him on pitch. Williams is going straight up. Missed time that pass to James terribly. There we go. Williams passing over the top. It's a corner for us because um, some one of the defenders headed that out of court pitch. You can see all the players fighting in the box here for the ball. James runs it out by accident. I think he gets pushed more than anything. That's fine. Let's just hold these guys off to a 1-0, one 1-0 one victory. I think we're going to have a yellow card here from Williams. Off that tackle, yep, there's a yellow card. I don't know what happened there, a little bit glitchy, but that was quite a hard tackle. There's another corner for us at the 90th, one minute. Swings it in. We need to really get someone better with corners because it's not a very good corner take. Whoever that is, is not good at these jobs. And, that's obviously managed. and there's a full time whistle 1-0 to Maidenhead United I'll accept that as another win in our win column and I don't care as long as we win as I said previously if we lose or draw I don't really want to know but if we win let me know because I'll be singing and singing and shouting to the rooftop 25 manager points here today another great success we're going to continue we're going to let the game load we're now going to go to our tactics screen um, because we need to deal with this. This is an issue we've got. Now, Woods, at the moment, um, Michael Woods is the captain according to this. Well, that ain't happening in the next game either. It is going to be Mirario. Mirario is going to be captain. Um, penalty taker. I wish there was like a little button you could push. Just so you know what you can do. But yeah, so the ones the higher the number, the better they are at what they're doing. So James so Al James is better at that. So let's have a look, James um so J Al James is seventeen on that. Let's have a look what um Al Noble is a thirty one. Which is interesting. Um J J Fawn is a thirteen. Al James is a seventeen. Well I can tell you who's doing that one then. Noble with a thirty one. Unless that's our bloody shirt numbers. I don't know. We'll find out, won't we? Um, Noble, again, with a 31. 26. Um, corner tick takers. Al James with 28. I think that's going to be our best option here. Uh, New, Al Noble with 33. Yeah, it's definitely not their shirt numbers because that's a different down here. Al Noble with 33. Right, that's all set up now. So that means that the team is at the best what the best people where they need to be. Hawkins is still injured. That's fine. He's probably going to be out for a while. That's all. Let's have a look at his card a minute. He's he's injured. Form is five. Twisted angry. He's out for two weeks. That's not too bad. I can cope with that. When's our next game? Fifteenth of September. We're going up against two two four goals in the Chelsea game. We're not interested in the Premier League just yet. We're not anywhere near it. Um, we're away from home. Um, and we're going to be taking on Sutton United. Um, where is Maiden's head on here? They're 17th and they held us off to a one goal. But we have got 15 points, so we're doing all right. Let's get to that next game and then we'll do a quick training session before it and then we'll get on with the next game. Um... There is little things in this game that the game doesn't explain to you, which is really annoying. Like, as, I, as you just saw there, I'm having to guess. <sighs> we might be able to open up another ball before the end of this episode, actually, because we've got three minutes of them. That, that will refresh one, and it's three minutes each, so... We've got a game today, have we? Yep, it's the 15th. What, when's our next game after this? Training. Yeah, I know we've got training. Um, I'm going to take out uh, goalkeeping today, and I'm going to throw in that one. We're going to do the defenders today. They're going to have a bit of a fun. There we go. That's all done. Let's continue the game. Let's get on with this game, shall we? As you can see here, we are going up against Sutton United in our 
fixture today away from home with the teams laid out as needs be. We'll see what happens at Borough Sports Ground. So Sutton United come out of the pitch. We're kicking off to start this game. There's the kickoff whistle. I don't know what the hell that was as a kickoff. That was a very odd kickoff entirely. Richardson's got the ball here, drawing it forward to Thorne. Thorne, what a save by a warning. I think that's how you say it, or Warner. Warner, I'm going to say Warner, I don't think that's right. But what a brilliant save there from him for that first ball at the pitch. This is better play now. You see here we've getting the we're getting that ball forward. In the first six minutes we've had two shots on goal, and both of them are very nearly in. So we're really kicking up the fuss here, and Fawn's got the ball. Woods has got the ball, the Woods is over to Noble, and the goal from Noble. There we go, Hartley Paul back in it, at, back in the play after a very lackluster maiden head United match, football match. We're back in it now, we're really on form here. We've got everything we needed, and that, those numbers obviously did do something because we're playing better than we were playing last game. And look at that save again. Well, nearly got that one in. And, you know, not losing a game is very difficult. I've never had it where I haven't lost a game or drawn a game at this point in the season before, so I don't know what I've done different in this, in this version of the game. Um, but definitely last year's I didn't do this well. <laughs> I'm sure that for a fact. Well, we're doing very well here, 18 minutes, and we're one goal up. By, oh, Bailey's being talked to, it's a warning. What did he do? I don't know what happened there, we missed it. But Noble's got a free kick here, way back when. As I say, Noble was a better option. And it's a penalty to Hartlepool there. Well, that was a bit of an interesting situation. It's a penalty by James. And it is in, it is two goals up at the 22nd minute by James after that beautiful penalty there, partly for two, Suffield, Suffield, whatever the hell the other team is, I can't remember, nil. And Loach is a great goalkeeper there, we see him save. I can just go to overview and it'll tell me when it. Sutton. So you can see the silver mills, we'll find a pot of maiden's head's gone up. Oh, there's something going on. I'll quit lock and then I'll remember. I don't know where Hartley Paul. There we go, the ball's up. Over to James. James shoots, but he misses. That's fine. We've got a corner now. It would be helpful if you didn't keep doing this. Thank you. I'm trying to find what team we're facing because I can't really see it very well in the little thing. It's played out by what and there's now a bloody corner kick. And I just try and have a quick look and at the tables, see what's going on, and everything's bloody happening on pitch. If we go just back to normal play, please. Thank you. Thank you, Warner. Everybody go out. Thank you. I could do this while we quickly find out. Right, where is it? That logo we're looking for. I can't even see it. It's not easily. Sut Sut Sutton United, there it is at 17. So you can have a look at the games, you can look at the match list at five scores. Every other thing that's going on around the say, around the other pitches. The Sutton United nil, partly Paul 2 as we head closer and closer to half time. It's like we're flipping lit a fire under our bombs. Oh great, Fawn, what have you done? Please do not get sent off. Yeah, it's a yellow card. Don't do that again, mate, because you will have a bollock in it again. So this is our second game. We did four last time. This is our sixth game, and we, we're we winning again. So 
Well, there we go, my friends. Half time. It's 2 1. Let's get straight on with the action here for the second half of the game. Let's get straight into the action on pitch because we're doing really well away from home today. Tata Don's got the ball. It's over to James. James is flicking it up forward to Fawn. Just over that bar there from Fawn. Beautifully done. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna continue recording actually that in a bit. Oh, slide tackle. By Bailey's on the ball. But Bailey's shooting it down pitch. I don't know where it's going. And that's Lang on the ball there. Beautyman on the ball. Noble's got the ball now. Noble over to I think that is Fawn over to James. And James shoots and he scores. And what a brilliant goal. And what a brilliant bit of football from Hartlepool United here today. A Sutton of Brazil, partly full of three. We're doing really well this season, to be honest. I'm really happy with this uh, so far. Some beautiful stuff happening on pitch from our players. I'm really proud of them. Um, there's some sort of tactics going on here. Co Doggins coming off and Davies is coming on in place. There we go. Let's get back on with the football. I cannot complain with this, but Featherstone will be coming on, and so will Jay Cassidy up up top here for the in place of Horn for the last for the last few minutes of the game, and then I will be bringing on Michael Bates as well. For the last part of this match, we'll do the last for the last 20, um, not 20, it'll be about 15 minutes, won't it? For the last 15 minutes of the game, the Cassidy, Faze, and Bates could come on and have a bit of a kick about. And I don't know if that's our players really excited, or the, I think it would be the Hartley Paul United players. Fans will be very excited. I know they'll be coming out in force in November to see us play. In the FA, um, in the FA, um, FA Cup, I think it is, isn't it, where we take on Blackburn Rovers or so. I can't remember what we were taking on, but I know it's a Championship team we're taking on. If we beat them, I will be bloody gobsmacked. Um, so I'll say there's something like broken the algorithm in the game. But we're doing really well today. I'm really proud of my team. I don't care if there's only been three goals, but three goals against are nothing. It's been brilliant to see. You know, that, the football we're playing here and see things like Cassidy, Warner, or Wooney, grabs the ball there. 74 minutes, and you can see there, Cassidy's on the ball again, passing over to James. James is passing over to Noble. Noble is going to pass over to the other striker, we've got Richardson. And Richardson nearly gets us another goal there at 75 minutes, minutes in the game. 15 minutes left to play here today. And Featherstone brings down Davis. Featherstone is going to have to probably be booked for that, which is fair enough. Yeah, there's a yellow card. Obviously having a little bit of a discussion there, but we see, as we see, all the players running about off the ball on pitch. 79 minutes. We have 10 minutes left to play of this beautiful game of football. We're going to have a quick look at what's going on here. James has been tackled, but he gets the ball. We get the ball back quite quick from there. And then we get a very shit pass over, but... We get the ball back and he goes straight for goal, but it wasn't there. We now have a corner tick kick coming in. by Noble swings it in. Obviously, Noble took position of that because we took off the original play we set up. But Noble probably ain't as good as some of the other players. But we'll stick with it for the last five minutes of the game plus stoppage time. But Noble's going to be springing this one in as well. As we see here, it's a corner kick. Noble swings it in. And he gets headed away. And Beauty Man has got the ball. There was a free kick there, I think. There's a few bits going on pitch. Here we go. Noble's got to take this. Now, I don't think Noble's going to be as good as the play we've took off for this. So, I don't think this is going in. And if he does go in, Noble's going to get a free ticket. But it nearly went in. But Warner, Woney, saves it. I know a brilliant game from Hartlepool United. I have to check how many games we've played. This is our second game of the episode, and we win 3-0. 
We're doing really well this season so far. Not lost a game. We're still on top, obviously. 25 manager points. Thank you very much. Attendance, 2,554 people today come to see that game. Obviously, they knew their team was going to go home with a loss. We were losing. So let's have a look at our um, club and our scheduling. Because that was our first game there. We got Hoverton and Water, Waterloo Vale and Bromley FC to take on next. Um, Hoverton and Waterloo is at home. And then we've got another away game. But as you know, we have to take on all the teams twice. But as you see here, not a loss. Every one of these has been a win. And that's been great for the club. Um, so you, what you can look at as well is you can look at your manager statistics. So this is um, so the board. This is who we're working for. So the board approval and results confidence. So expected position one, competition one, expected round final, current round none. So our financial confidence, media approval, and fan approval is going that way. The, it's not that good at the moment, but you can also look at jobs um, as well if you want to move clubs, which we're not going to be doing, but that is something we could do. As you can see, we've 18 points up and 14 goal difference. They've had more goals than us, but they haven't had as many points as you see here. Salford City have had five wins with a one draw, whereas we've had six wins straight away through all our games. Next up is Hoverton and Waterloo Vale on the 22nd of September. We've got a few days before that game, so we're just going to skip forward to that game unless something comes up. Do I see another ball available? Not yet. I've still got three. 327 before that, that's fine. I think we could have got one more goal if we had a sort of finger me off for finger me in that last game. But he was so close. I can't fault him for that really good shot there. It was so close and the goalkeeper just died. So we're going to be at Victoria Park next. I'm really... Oh, great. The scout assignments are done already. Um, we're going to ignore them for a while. Um, that's all we've got coming up. There's no one. They're just so we get an idea of some of the players that are around, but we could possibly. McDonald's. Uh, transfer bid. How much does he want? So, what's his value? So, his value is that. So, what we you can look at is just do that. There we go. We'll see what that does. See if we can get him on board. We'll get if we get one on board. I'm quite happy with that. He's rejected the bid. That's fine. We've um, we're on the 19th now. Let's get to our next game on the 22nd of September. I'm not interested in that. So our next match preview. So, so as you can see here, it's um, so our training this time has come up. Obviously, scouting has finished, um, but we're doing all right. Uh, that's time forty thirty one. Not bad. Uh, this is our second episode of recording. I hope it's recording. Otherwise, I'm just talking to myself for God knows how long. And I would just have to say, yes, I did what I'm not said I wasn't going to do because I didn't record. But I know I'm recording, so I'm all right. So our next game is against Hartlepool United against Hoverton and Waterloo Vale. So we're going to get that game underway. We're going to skip forward. There's our team. And I'll see you guys back here in just a couple of seconds. Thanks for watching, friends. We're just going to quickly save the game. Um... Please be, be, be aware I'm in a mug shop. Because I can. So we're going to head to our next game. Which will be going. There we go. There's a hot. Haverton, Waterloo. Waterloo Vale. HMV against. Hartley Paul United. There we are today at home. We've already got a flipping corner. Very early on in 24 seconds, we've got a corner. Swinged in a bit too close to the goalkeeper there.
Now we are expected to win this one because it's quite a simple team we've taken on. I'm sorry if I'm eating while watching this, but I need some food. And I also want to get on with the recording. What the frick was that? Also, you got to see the use of invisible walls there. Well, if you're invisible, we're going to get a goal. The question is, when are we going to get that goal? No, but we're four having a nice little game between themselves here. Yeah. Well, eighth minute and not a lot has happened really. And a lot of chances and not a lot going in. There's a yellow card there for the other side, um, H and W. Oh, Noble nearly got that one in. It'll be a beautiful goal if we had. So I'm silent, I'm eating my food and trying to watch the football, right? For you guys are. Um, Lochi there with a brilliant save. Um, here's an opportunity now for Thorne to get that ball. And there it is, our first goal of the game. Partly cool, you know, it just took us 34 minutes. But Thorne has finally got the goal in for us. It seems like our fans, home fans, are going crazy here today. We have that brilliant piece of football. <clears throat> Richardson is going up the front here. He's got the ball, he's passing over. It's And we can see there it's come quite far to be honest. So here we are at half time then and it's 1-0 and we're going to start the second half straight into the action. See the ball being thrown up pitch. And Form gets another beautiful goal there. Bringing our lead up to two against HW here today. Another great goal here, and we'll see. They should grab the ball out the air from that corner. Stopping the other team from getting it. 
which is great to see this. Now right, here we go, Noble with the free kick. And we're going quite well here at 59 minutes. And falling with another goal. Is that a hat trick? Let's have a look, perhaps. Yeah, Joey Fawn with a flipping hat trick here today. That is brilliant. Um, Fawn's going to be staying on. We're going to bring in Williams. Um, we're going to bring on Featherstone, and we're going to bring on. I'm going to bring Bates on as well. Now I need to see what Williams. He likes to be the general forward, so we're going to give him that. And Featherstone likes to be another thing he can't be. So. There's our tactical change, and off goes our three players, all went into the edge of the pitch, clapping their hands, going, hooray, we play football! On come the other players going, hooray, we get to play football! The good thing is there's a towel, tissue. So yeah, we're really doing well here today, I can see. A lot going on. And on comes Williams. Harvington and Waterloo and Williams comes on. Quick look where the ball is, the fans are quite happy sat there. Uh, got the microphone up again, which means they're going to be doing another tactical change at some point in a few minutes. All three goals today going down to Thorn, which has been brilliant to see him really utilising that position he's in. And nice there for Kelleher. Nice save from him for the next part of this fish. Okay, we've got one more match to play in this episode and then we will end it. We hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I have. This has been brilliant fun to record. Falling on that ball again, stopping that slide tackle, but come here. Just stopping that shot on goal. We're 76 minutes into this game and we're doing quite well, I do believe. There could have been a card there for Fawn. Williams is up front, passing over to Dandu. And do over to Williams. I think they went too far, pitch too quick. Let's bring the tea in. He's going to do a throw in. Get that ball. Don't freaking hard on. Oh, give him a bloody corner, why don't you? We've got set with us. We've got about 10, 11 minutes left of game. Plus stoppage time left to play here now, 10 minutes. Left to play plus stoppage time, and we've got three goals in. Even as on top of that table for now. I'm going to be recording. I'm going to be recording close combat when Gemma goes to work on Wednesday. I've decided. I'm not going to be doing that today. I'm going to be starting a new recording a new series today. Oh, which isn't going to be a fo another football series. It's going to be a more interesting one. <clears throat> we'll see how that goes. And here we go, the ball's into corner. Hmm. We'll see Robinson there, Williams. 
passing over to Featherstone, Horn. And there we go, full time, three, Hartlepool, three, Hoven, Haventon, and Waterloo Vale, nil. What a beautiful game at home there to play as we head towards our final match, Trey Form 3. So he is the man of the match. Beautiful to see. I never look at the man of the match. We should really pay more attention to that. Um, we've got, with all the other fixtures, what happened today, we're going to just get forward and see where we are. We're still on top with 21 points. Next game is against Bromley FC. Um, as you can see, our stadium is now two and a half stars, um, which is on the 29th. So we'll get that one played and then we'll end this episode and then I'll eventually edit it together once my computer allows me. Because everything goes through Shortcut. Before it goes on YouTube, Shortcut deals with it. Or Shortcut deals with it. That's where I do all my editing. I don't really do a lot of cutting out or stuff and scaling and stuff. I just leave it as it is. But I enjoy the game and I enjoy playing it. So it's good fun for us. So we're just going to get on with the next match, which I think is today. That's no, the 29th. Well, we're on the 27th. 8 o'clock at night. Because we've got games being played around the world. We've got a game being played at... Oh, there's some on a Saturday morning at 11 o'clock. I think that's when we are. Like a Harvey's Lane. Right, let's get our training done, shall we, for this match, before this match. So we're going to take out basic physical today, and we're going to throw in basic goalkeeping. Um, Just give our goalkeeper a bit of attention. And then we'll get that done, and then we'll get on with the match, and then we'll end this game. We've got 11 no... Um, Sign points, we can't unlock anything else, but we'll do the stadium next as well. Get so what I want to do is I look into like maintenance stuff. You can click on these and it'll tell you um you know what you know little things like that, um things like this. Um, but this is the one I always like to do because this one gives us all of the good stuff. I don't know what that one is. Your club puts transportation for fans to travel for way of matches creating a hey, out of during away games, which is what we want. That's what we want. You can also train edit your stadium, but we're not going to look into that until we're a lot further up the league. But there is the two teams. We are in blue. They're in white. Now let's get on with this game against Bromley. I do believe. Well, the look at that overview. Yeah, Bromley FC I was correct. I do know certain games because this is what this is the what mode I used to play all the time anyway. Any, so I do know a lot of the clubs. It's just certain ones have been moved around or come up since I last year, so I don't know who they are. But I know this club very. I know this club Bromley are very good in this league, definitely. And this is going to be our toughest challenge, I think, so far. We seem to be doing alright against them so far. And so I don't expect many goals in this match. I'm expecting a draw more than anything against Bromley. More invisible walls. Oh, there we go, Noble. Oh, God. It's like they're playing on ice sometimes, and that's quite entertaining to watch. As I say, this could be our first loss. Maybe not, with this way what's going on right now. Well. Until they got the ball back. <laughs> There's not a lot to say, really. We've been doing quite well this season. We're against Bromley, which is a, quite a strong team to be honest they're not doing too good so far this season but they are a strong world team so they're going to be tough to break through they've probably got one of the best defenses in the league but we get a goal there we go beautiful from James beautiful bit of football it took us 22 minutes but we are in the lead against Bromley and that is what we want to see from our club I wasn't even expecting that goal to come that early I was expecting the second half before we even got a goal still, still back in the net We definitely want to be able to get that one where we can put transport on for the highway fans. Yeah, more fans come to our away games will be great. And another goal from Thorn. I'm just going to have a quick look at the overview here. Just to have a look at something. 
Um, where do I go for that? So James Thorne, J Al James and J James Thorne have got both of our goals in this game. Kitchening has got the ball over to Woods. Woods is viewing it down the match. Noble with the ball. Noble nearly gets it in, but Thorne, oh, so close. We seem to have really started picking up our tribe here. This is beautiful to watch. There we go, the ball's been passed. There's a lot of other areas you can put you can put um, points into your um, scouting network as well, so you open up more areas to scout to, which I'm not going to do just yet. Um, I don't really look at scouting until we're further up the table. I like to get you know the stadiums, the far side stadium stuff done. So our stadiums are top notch, um, and then we as well. We might have a look at other stuff as well. Woods has got the ball over to Fawn again, back to Woods, over to Fawn. Fawn shoots way too far out for that shot, but we're winning 2-0, which I can't complain about. So far we're in up oh, 2, I can't say we're winning, well we are winning, but we're not 1. English language is about 14 different languages learned and faith. So you're both aware in Halloween mask, so you look for <laughs> The English language, that is basically what it is. It is a load of it's three different languages disguised as one. Well, Johnson's being called over by the ref. I think that's going to be a yellow card, but we haven't seen a red card at all in this game so far. Which is quite good, to be honest. And the only game I don't think we're going to win just yet are the ones... Some of the tougher challenges are going to come up later, but... Over the top of the net, Lochis have to go and retrieve the ball from behind them. Net here, there's a throw in. Tatadori or Tatadon has got the ball. Noble, Alochi, what a save from there. From me, we're gonna where are we going now? Dil Silva's got the ball, passing over to Evan, over to Andrew Kine, over to Dil Silva. Dil Silva shoots behind the net again. We're heading towards the first half time here. We're in stoppage time for before the break. We've stopped that going in. We've passed down the pitch. Oh, De Silva's got the ball again. De Silva is a name I know. Ooh. Now we all go in for half time. Let's go back out. Let's get the action away. De Silva's got the ball straight off the bat. Um, we're still winning to uh, half time. We're, win we're two goals up. Let's see if we can get any more goals in. So this half to keep this, or at least keep the lead going, so we can win another game, which means we would have won eight games in the on the trot to start off the season. Of course, that's how some clubs start their season, and they start dwindling halfway through. We want to keep this going. The fans should be starting to go get behind us now as well, but it's, you know, because of course this is just the start of the season, so the fans are all behind us. That was a very interesting shot on goal. It went, we kind of went in the air and kind of stayed on pitch, which is very odd. Well, it's a free kick. Lang's going to take that long distance one there. De Silva's on the ball. I think De Silva's a defender more than anything. Kettering on the ball. Tatadon's on the ball. But he gets taken away. A bad place into the feet. And he strokes the thing to Enver. And it looks like we've got a free kick going out to Bromley F's football club there, but it's going to be a Richardson with a yellow card, I do believe, after that very dangerous tackle. That's fine, that's what's on the yellow card. And Murick running out from goal there, that would have been very, that was a very dangerous decision there from Bromley FC's goalkeeper. De Silva is running over to the corner. He's a corner take, obviously. They're also going to be taking um, a player off by the looks of it. At some point, I'm not sure when, but it hasn't happened yet. Get a ball out of our zone, please. Richardson. Richardson with the ball now running up pitch. We can see one of the one of the FC players, Dun, coming in. Oh, that would have been a brilliant goal if he got it. There goes De, De, De Lille. Allen is off. Alien is off. And we can clear up the lead. 
61 minutes into the game. We're going to call a tactic up right now. Kay Richardson's going to be coming off. I don't care if the person can't play it, but Newton's going to be coming on if he's taking him out. German midfielder, we can't do that for you, but you're going to come on and take his spot. Thank you. Get him off with the, the guy with the yellow card. Newton's off. On comes him. Let's get the game back underway. We'll make our next challenge with two changes. So Hartley Paul Newton's on pitch. He's running over here for some reason. I don't know why. Um, Bates, yeah, we always bring, we always bring Bates on. I'm gonna bring him off and bring Ferguson on. We never really have Ferguson on. Well, brilliant defender there, Dil Silva. The Boogle is up pitch. There comes Lang of, and Manning off. Bates and Ferguson on. Just because I haven't really used Ferguson, and I know he's not in the best spot possible, but we know that he'll play the best he can for the team to help us continue our beautiful winning streak here today. Ball with the ball. Man of the match last time around in our last game, as you saw. With that beautiful hat trick for him, he will obviously be taking the golden boot as well. Or the, the, the match ball, I think you get, don't you? The ball or the match, you get a hat trick, you get to keep the match ball. So that'll be probably at home for him. They're very rare hat tricks, but obviously Joe Foreman's very happy with that. If he spoke to the press after the match and probably told them that he was very happy to be able to take the match ball home. And obviously, hoping the fans have a lot more faith in him after the last few games. And there we go, that is it, another beautiful goal from James there. That brings us up to three goals. And what a brilliant, brilliant goal there, I'm really happy with that. Another brilliant goal from us as we continue taking our opponents, knocking our opponents back every single time. None comes Tilly. Loach is in the goal for some reason, I don't know where the ball is, but there we go, 75 minutes. We've got a corner in. Noble's going to swing it in for us. And it's 4-0 as Newton, who we brought on pitch as a substitute, gets a brilliant... I don't know if it was a head, it was goal for us after that beautiful swing in from the corner kick. In 77 minutes, we're winning 4-0 here today. Now, as a sort of game we want to be playing, we're really starting to whack up these points. Doing really well. Bates have got the ball here. We're running Billy Donomo's around this other the imposing team here. What a pass to Noble. Obviously Noble ain't gonna finish that well, he ain't a finisher, but a good pass by form to Noble there. He did it with the back foot in the air. What do you see at the 80th minute? Oh! Oh! Hit the back of the side of the net. That is awful. As we pass the ball up, there is um, Bates. He's gonna pass the ball forward. Tatadon. Oh, Tatadon, you could have got us another goal, mate. Could have been five. We're at 85 minutes now. We're getting closing minutes of the game. Noble, can we do a, can we do another brilliant corner kick and get another goal off it? Nope, this time they defend it away, which is probably the better for those, for those guys because we've been running ragged around this opposition all game, really. We've had two goals in both halves, which is brilliant to think giving our fans something to look forward to when we bring our team home again. I am not going to record episode 4 straight after this, by the way, guys. I'll be, probably leave that for a couple of days after this one. Because I am having fun, but I'm going to have some more fun in a bit. Recording another new series for the channel. Wrestling is going to be leaving the channel for a bit. That was a brilliant save. Brilliant over the head of all the players there. The ball's kind of flying through the air for some reason. Winters have got a head on it. At the 88th minute, something's going on down here. Dally, can they get a goal in for their home fans at least? Trying to wash the shame away from losing to Hartley for United. I'm having a right fun with this. I am. There comes Riddle. Oof. Boots it away down there. Then we go, we see Honda. Woods has not got the ball there, but might, we're now in stoppage time. 
for this half, I think we're going to have about three minutes. It should the referee should call. Not with a four. Joe Form with the ball. Noble. Rick. And we're going to have four minutes stoppage time here because the referee hasn't blown his whistle. Whitener has got the ball. Evan. And there we go. Full time for full time Bromley FC nil. Hartlepool United four. No, I don't do that sort of thing. 25 manager points. Shots on target three. And we got five shots on target with a possible four goals. So that means four. So I can't complain with that. And um, there we go, my friends. I hope you're enjoying the series as much as I am. This was episode number three of Soccer Manager. Our next victory is um, at home against Bar FC in the National League. As you can see, we're on top with 24 points. We're four points in the rest of the competition. So let's have a look what games you guys have got to look forward to in the next episode. Bar FC at home. We're away against East Lee F Football Club. We're against Dover Athletic at home and Burn Wood away. We ain't got any of the other guys really until further into the season. Um, where's the February game, the one we're really looking forward or worry about? Where's the... Is it on here? Uh, it isn't. The FA Cup game. There it is. Blackburn Rovers will be coming up in an episode. That will be a bonus one, which is going gonna, is gonna to be in November. As you can see there, my friends, Blackburn Rovers, <laughs> FA Cup. We're going to be away at to, to them, but we'll see what happens. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you again with Soccer Manager 2019, this free-to-play game which you can get if you just Google it. I want to thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you again real soon.